the topic i'm going to discuss now is alcohol metabolism the major alcohol which is metabolized in our body is ethanol ethanol is a small molecule it is both water and lipid soluble so it can move easily across the membranes so how it is absorbed from the intestine by a mechanism called passive diffusion and moreover when it is consumed 0 to 5 percentage of it is absorbed in the esophagus and in the mouth mostly it is metabolized in the liver it is completely oxidized in the liver and it is not stored so 98 percentage 85 to 98 percentage is completely oxidized in the liver 2 to 10 percentage is excreted through breath urine and sweat how the ethanol is oxidized by three enzymes first is alcohol dehydrogenase second is acetaldehyde dehydrogenase otherwise aldehyde dehydrogenase and third is by microsomal ethanol oxidizing system meos by cytochrome p450 enzyme in the microsomes ethanol is oxidized to acetaldehyde by the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase and this aldehyde then oxidized to acetate by aldehyde dehydrogenase and one more system which is helping in ethanol oxidation is meos microsomal ethanol oxidizing system by cytochrome p450 so the metabolism taking place in liver so in cytoplasm ethanol is oxidized to acetaldehyde endoplasmic reticulum contains your meos system and mitochondria where the aldehyde oxidation takes place so ethanol is oxidized by nad plus to nadh so alcohol dehydrogenase then this acetaldehyde is converted to acetate that is oxidized to acetate by nad plus to nadh the enzyme here is aldehyde dehydrogenase so alcohol dehydrogenase and aldehyde dehydrogenase uses nad plus as the hydrogen acceptor and forms nadh whereas your microsomal ethanol oxidizing system converts ethanol to acetaldehyde by nadph so it uses nadph for oxidizing and the enzyme here is cytochrome p2e1 one of the cytochrome p450 enzyme system okay this is how the ethanol is metabolized in the liver the alcohol toxicity the biochemical basis behind alcohol toxicity depends on three things one is redox state changes in nad plus nadh ratio second is acetaldehyde formation and the third one is oxidative stress so we'll look one by one now first is redox state changes in nad plus and nadh ratio so in this slide we'll discuss the redox state changes of nad plus and nadh you can see here the nad plus are converted to nadh so all the nad plus are utilized so it cannot go for glycolysis if there is no glycolysis no pyruvate is formed okay no glycolysis no pyruvate if there is no pyruvate no oxaloacetate so during alcohol toxicity there is no glycolysis gluconeogenesis fatty acid oxidation and tca cycle acetate can form acetyl coa by the addition of coa but this acetyl coa cannot combine with oxaloacetate to enter into tca cycle 
because the availability of oxaloacetate is nil so the acetyl coa will enter into some other pathway to produce your kfc that is ketone bodies fatty acid cholesterol synthesis so during alcohol toxicity there is enormous amount of fatty acid synthesis all this fatty acids accumulates in the liver producing fatty liver and in extreme condition it produces cirrhosis of liver your hypercholesterolemia increased cholesterol it leads to increased cardiac risk okay these are the alcohol toxicity seen during excessive consumption of alcohol